Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got a busy day ahead of us. We got here at eight o'clock this morning. Uh, we're gonna hang a set for you guys, and uh, it's it's in this nice open oak flat. Deer's always in here hitting it hard uh, during rut. I mean, there's there's rubs galore, scrapes. Um, it's just a it's a beautiful beautiful area. It really is. Uh, earlier this week, I rained out. Um, got a hold of Brendan. We hung the couple sets there in the food plot, so we'll show you guys what those look like as well. So, but well, we're gonna get busy. So stick with us. All right, guys, that set is done, and it is pretty pretty much perfect. Uh, we had to switch up a few things on it. Didn't take that long. Um, pretty simple, but, you know, that thing's ready to hunt. We even cut it in our shooting lanes. Was very specific on them. Didn't want to open ourselves up too much. I'll show you one view. We're right up in here. You can't even see the stands. So, but it's overlooking this oak flat, which, you know, right here's a scrape. Right here's the mineral site, which they are just hammering. They got it down in the roots. Uh, there's the camera for right now. We got a scrape there, a scrape here, and a scrape right back here. And there's actually a couple more back here. And then this whole area is just full of rubs. Um, these deer, they love it in here. And to be honest with you, this is one of my favorite places to hunt. It really is. It's right on the edge of bedding. This is, they come in here right out of bedding. They browse through here. Uh, we did feed in here last year. They'd catch a bite to eat before they'd hit the fields. And, you know, we had some good success here. So, um, you know, actually Briar, he had success here too. You know, he killed pretty Ricky. He was sitting right here, right there in the opening. That's where we had the radix. He was overlooking the oak flat here. So, yeah no we're excited for it uh we we moved the radix you know the deer were used to it um but there was some deer that was whatever with it you could just tell you know it kind of spooked them a little bit and now that we're putting in the food source about 300 yards to the west there's gonna be several deer you know coming down through this bottom you know coming coming in and out of here so 
we wanted to ease the deer's mind didn't want to pressure them at all and so we moved the radics actually 450 yards to the south and then we decided we're just going to put a set in here overlooking the mineral site and this oak flat and it's it's picture perfect it really is um yeah you know like i said there's gonna be deer just in and out of here but it's an easy in and out for us we shouldn't be caught in it and should be good to go so yeah we're excited for it um they went I'm, I'm very happy with how it turned out but you know we got a lot of work we got to do today we gotta go check out our food plot and see how our borderline's doing and then uh maybe put some plus uh plot boost on it so we'll see how it looks so here we go Look at that borderline. All right, guys, made it down here to the plot. We've had a very, very busy morning, getting a lot of things done though, and we made it. Finally, made it down here to check our borderline, and it is doing amazing. Um, from what I can see, might be a little patchy in certain areas, but hopefully, hopefully it's just a little bit behind. <laughs> hopefully, um, but. Yeah, we, we had our doubts. We really did. Putting it in that late, and then, you know, we put it in three weeks ago and didn't have any rain for two weeks. Finally, the good Lord blessed us last Sunday with some rain, and, you know, this past week we got a couple inches of rain. So the ground's still saturated right now, and it's definitely what it needed to help it take off. And it, it's it's really sprouted up and looking good. So since it's, uh, since it's germinated and it's up, now it's time for plot boost. That's what's in the sprayer today. That's what we're putting on it. Um, you know, what plot boost is gonna do, it's gonna allow these plants to really absorb all the nutrients that it can. And then that, that's gonna pass on to the deer. That's normally through your plots. Uh, borderline's not a feed. It's a screening and cover. Uh, so it's not gonna really pass on to the deer. They're not, they're not gonna eat it, but it's still gonna give them plants what they need nutrients wise. So just a little extra step to help it out and you know every little bit helps so that's what we're spraying on it today and we're pretty excited about it i mean it's it's really walking down through here it's really starting to take off i'll show you it's not real real high so there's some weeds in it but it's not real real high but it's it's definitely coming up pretty happy with it um we actually did on monday I rained out, I got a hold of Brendan, and we uh, we actually came in here and hung both sets um, for this plot. So we filmed some of it, but not all of it. You know, it was raining a little bit, and we really just wanted to get it done. You know, we put a lot of time and focus on, on those stands, because they're always going to be there. So, yeah, I'll head over there and I'll show you guys what they look like. Alright guys, made it over here. This was the tree originally we was going to put it in. Um, there's some big, big limbs in there that we didn't feel like going around or cutting. So we actually went with our second option. It's actually tucked back in there a little more. It's right here. And I mean, it is, it is beautiful. We got in there, we cut our shooting lanes. We kept ourselves pretty covered up. Backdrop's pretty decent. Uh, camera man be on the back side he's hitting pretty good so 
we just cut enough out of there to give us some good shooting lanes and good filming area for the plot and I mean them deer they're gonna have a hard time really picking us out so but hopefully this borderline on this edge it's coming up but it's not doing as good as the other uh, it is a little shadier on this side but still it's still popping up but hopefully this grows and then we can walk on the inside of this borderline we cut a little trail down in here that runs right to our set I mean that set is money well I'm excited to sit in that one I mean it's really tucked in there and it is it's an awesome view so got that one done and I'll take you over to the other one all right here's the borderline on this side it's popping up it's just not as good as down there uh, it's not as thick or as tall but it's coming up here it is but hopefully that pot boost goes to work on it and helps it out but right here's our tree it is a perfect tree we cut out some pretty big limbs to really get our set in there and it is money overlooking the entire plot i mean we are tucked in there tight we was really careful cutting our shooting lanes not really opening up too much we, i mean we're hitting in there very good looking over this entire plot so that's the two stands you know we took full advantage of the weather on monday instead of hanging these things when it was hot and miserable out you know it was only in the 60s on monday so we hurried up got in here and hung those so that's knocked off the list um but yeah everything's starting to come together we're knocking the list down you know we'll be back in here probably fourth of july weekend um we'll be in here brush hogging this we're, we're gonna kill it uh we're actually gonna kill it this time you know last time we was kind of running out of roundup so we gave it a once over and nothing really died so we're gonna cut it down and really really put the roundup to it this time so but no we're excited to watch these big time products go to work and the deer grow products so you know Put in the work now. Fall's coming. We'll catch you guys in the next episode.